Event one, hoppin' and poppin', four rounds for time, an eight minute time cap. Intermediate, 20 synchro alternating dumbbell snatch, 50 double unders. Novice and masters, 20 synchro alternating dumbbell snatch, 50 single unders. Score is time. If all the work is not completed before the time cap, add one second for each incomplete rep. At three, two, one, go, both athletes will perform 20 synchro alternating dumbbell snatches. Once all 50 synchro dumbbell snatches are completed, then one athlete will start the 50 double unders or 50 single unders. After the double unders or single unders are completed, both athletes will start round two. Synchro alternating dumbbell snatch. The dumbbell snatch will start with both dumbbells on the ground. Both athletes must lift the dumbbell overhead in one motion. A clean and jerk is not allowed. Athletes must alternate arms after each repetition. Athletes must switch hands when the dumbbell is on the ground. The non-lifting hand or arm may not make contact with the legs or any other parts of the body during the repetition. At the top, the athlete's arms, hips, and knees must be fully locked out with the dumbbell clearly over the middle of the athlete's body. The rep is credited once both athletes have reached locked out. Dropping the dumbbell will result in a no rep. The movement will be considered synchro at two points. When both dumbbells are touching the floor and both athletes are standing fully upright, fully locked out with the dumbbell overhead. Double unders. This is a standard double under in which the rope passes completely under the feet twice for each rep. This must be a two foot jump. Single unders. This is the standard single under in which the rope passes completely under the feet once for each rep. This must be a two foot jump. The rope must spin forward for the rep to count.